What's up, guys? John here. Titan Talk Tuesday, official. Good day, always day. It's Tuesday. Titan Talk Tuesday. I love being here with you guys. And we're at the end of the day, so tomorrow's Wednesday, and we're almost halfway through the week. And it's a big weekend, especially here in Tampa. We got the Super Bowl this week. So the festivities are already starting in our city. People are already starting to come down here. I'm seeing a lot of out-of-state out of license plates down here. Uh, so it's going to get crazy. So we're going to cover some of these different events that are going on down here. A lot of celebrities are down here. A lot of different things. You know, it's a good thing, I guess, because we're one of the most open states there is in the United States out there. Um, and uh, we got Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl, representing the Bucks in the home city of Tampa. So it's, it's, it's a big, big thing. What up, big Irishman? How you doing? John, what's going on? Neil, what's going on? Hi, Ari, Adina. How you doing? Hills, Ghetto, what's going on? Everybody else is joining us in. Thank you, guys. Mark, Lone Star, what's going on, guys? So, got a great show for you guys. Obviously, we're going to talk about some different therapies today. Uh, first therapy is going to be the therapy of the week, which is BPC-157. Yes, the GOAT. You know, and I, I'm, a, I'm a Bears guy originally, so... That's where I'm from, is the Midwest, 21 years up there. I moved down here. But I've been down here for 20, so, you know, I, I guess the Bucks are, are my second team. My son grew up here, so I guess that's his first team, you know, at that point. So, yeah, Tom Brady has definitely, you know, he's definitely, like, made an impression on me, for sure. Obviously, I thought he was really, really good. Obviously, you can't deny what he's done when he was in New England, right? Um, and then coming to Tampa Bay his first year, Everybody's getting excited. I'm like, man, this is going to be a really good year for us. They're talking about Super Bowl. I'm like, man, I don't know. this is crazy. Losing five games. And at that point, you know, hitting it and going all the way through. So hopefully they can pull it off and beat Kansas City, dethrone them, and become the champs. Because that's awesome. The first team in NFL history to play at home in the Super Bowl, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So with no further ado, let's get into BPC-157. And if you guys got questions about HRT or any of the therapies that we do here, please just throw out your questions. I'd be happy to answer them as, as we go along, right? So let's talk about BPC-157. Now, we get a lot of questions about BPC-157, and uh, I'm a strong advocate proponent of BPC-157 and these healing peptides, uh, specifically right now. So I've got a slap tear in my right shoulder. You know, I turned 40 on the 23rd of February, so I'm getting older, guys. Um, and at that point, I want to make sure that I'm in the best shape of my life. And I always set these goals every year to make sure that I'm in better shape this year than I was last year. So I'm on that way to that goal right now. So I've got the slap tear, which handicaps me in a, a couple different ways. You know, I can't go as heavy as I want. You know, i got to make sure that I'm, I'm watching the mobility and movements of my shoulders um, and dispersing the weight like in my scapula, you know, not in my shoulders when I'm doing bench and, and a lot of different things. So there's a lot of things that are going into this. What's going on, David? Toucan, how you doing? Um, so at that point, BPC-157 I'm using currently right now. Now, BPC-157, BPC stands for Body Protecting Compound. Okay, so that's what it is. And what's up, Leslie? How you doing? Mr. T, what's going on? Uh, David got his goodies today. Dude, do a little video, a little unboxing of your videos. You, I love those. Um, I love when you guys show me your videos. So if you guys have videos, if you guys get your packages, you guys are cool with it, tag us. I'd love to see it. If you guys get shirts or anything like that, tag us. Uh, I'll repost on the story and stuff like that. So body protection compound, BPC. So this is derived from the gastric juices in the stomach. So obviously it's good for stomach issues, IBS, inflammation. Um, you know, when you're having ulcers, that's another big one. It can also, you know, they say help with digestion and stuff like that. Now, BPC is great for other things too. So you want to inject this closest to the injured area. So it's good for arthritis, bringing down inflammation in the body. So if you have pain in some areas, like in the shoulder in the morning, I'll inject it in there. It actually does take away some of that pain from there. Um, mobility of the shoulder, joint areas, muscle tears, tendons. These, this is specifically what BPC is great for. Golf elbow. Tennis elbow, we talked about that. I think like two weeks ago, somebody asked me about, you know, what's the best thing to do that. What's up, Miranda? How you doing? Kale, what's up? Keith Titan, how you guys doing? So, 
you know, I've used it many times for different injuries. So the first time that I ever used it was for golf elbow and tennis elbow. And I've got the videos, and they were like, I think it was like three years ago, four years ago almost. Um, I had it both at the same time, and I was wearing this big black brace. And you can see in these videos. Um, and after that, I started using it. Um, it actually worked probably about, I don't know, four to five weeks, very aggressive on the dosing. And with my shoulder right now being the slab tear, now I don't think it... I, I don't think it's going to repair everything, but I think it's definitely helping for sure. Like at least I can go in there and get a workout in and not be debilitated or handicapped to that degree where I can't do anything because I'm activating the muscles, you know, and it's, it's just really cool, you know, the way that it works. And it can help with other different things like in the body. So when we talk about that, creating new blood vessels, this is another thing, wound or healing. So, if you had surgery and stuff like that, it actually helps with wound healing there. Uh, we have one of, our, one of our athletes and stuff like that, Cody, had back surgery and he had his cut. And he actually put the results up on the story, which is really cool. I shared it on there. And it showed one week's time of you know how fast he recovered in that area. And he was using BPC, not directly on the wound, but closest to the wound. Um, and it actually helped very, very well. So, like I said, creating those new blood vessels um, will, will help in a lot of different ways. Bringing blood to those injured areas again will actually help with recovery and healing those different areas. So it's really, really big. It's an awesome peptide. And you can use it systemically with BPC, with TB500. So that's another healing peptide. But I want to cover one in particular today, and then I'll cover TB500 by itself. Very similar in what they do, and very similar in how they can help. But they are a little bit different. And I'll explain those differences when we come up with TB500 on the next run. And I'll bring them together and kind of do a versus um, so you guys can understand what one does to the other one does, okay? All right, have you ever, ever thought about using Dorabolin as part of TRT to load those? I heard it's good for joints. Durabolin. So, all right, so, so you're talking about either Deca Durabolin or, or Nandrolone. So, Nandrolone is a good component. It's a Nor 19, guys, all right? So... That's the compound. At that point, nandrolone can be good for some, some things, okay? But it's it's only going to relieve joint area because you're, you're putting some water in that area. So it is going to lubricate the area a little bit to help. But the bad thing about it is it's not a repair type deal. So it's only for a little bit of time. And the other thing with that is, is that if you don't dose that correctly with testosterone and stuff like that, you can get ED issues or deca dick. And that's a real thing out there. So you don't want that to happen. I mean, it's horrible where your mind is ready to go. You're, you're physically ready to go, but you ain't ready to go. And then your girlfriend or partner, whoever it is, is asking you why you ain't ready to go. And you're like, I don't know. And that's kind of what it is. So at that point, you don't want to go through that. Now, dose you know, properly and use for the right things, it can help. I used it both for knee surgery and bicep surgery. So Hulk Squad knows. Uh, definitely BPC and TB500 great for these different things as far as surgeries or for you know for different injuries and stuff like that. Now it's not going to heal a, a broken arm or broken leg, but it can help a lot of these different things as far as tendons, ligaments, joints, uh, and muscles uh, that you guys are dealing with, or um, you know arthritis or inflammation in the body. That's another big one that causes damage or causes injury uh, or causes pain. So at that point, you can utilize this therapy, uh, and we'll talk about TB500 in another episode, but you can utilize this solo by itself, and it works very well. With this, you're going to want to inject this closest to the area of injury, okay? not You don't have to go directly into a joint or directly into a, a, a muscle or anything like that. You can inject it subcutaneously, and we have videos on this on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube.com, Titan Medical Center, just search that. You guys will run down all the different videos. And when you go there, just subscribe and hit the all notifications bell so when we load this great content up and these great educational videos, you guys will get the notification and you guys can go right there and check it out immediately, right? It's like a VIP line. You guys will know right away and get that information so you guys can go over there. And then if you have, still have questions, you can get on this live with me and we can talk about the video on there or maybe you have a question about the video or the injection or dosage or whatever it may be. We can talk about it and kind of go over it and, and help everybody out at the same time. All right, BBC157 helped me when I messed up my knee. Couldn't believe it st stacked it with TB500. Yeah, Mark, definitely good. And stacking them together is even better, right? 
Um, you're just getting the best of both worlds. Um, you know, it, it, it might be a little bit pricey, but you know, how, how, how much is that worth to get healed faster or to be able to heal like that or maybe not have surgery? And we have gotten some people through these different cases, so it's really awesome to see. Only a month and a half with my bicep surgery. Wow, that was quick. That's real quick. All right, hello, Titan family tuning in. All right, uh, what's a normal dosage? So normal dosages for BPC-157? Um, EM ball, let me know if, that, if that's what your question was. I could definitely go over that for you guys. So usually BPC-157 dosage can anywhere range, guys, to 250 micrograms a day to... You know, you can go to 3,000, 5,000 micrograms a day, you know, and that can get very expensive doing it like that. Usually the proper dosage is usually 500 micrograms a day, and you can split that up in the day. You can do one in the morning, one at night, you know, consistently doing that. You can go all the way up to 1,000. You can do 500 micrograms in the morning, 500 at night. Um, that's another good way to do it. So it really all depends. And that's what our medical providers are there for. They're going to actually tell you what dosages and how to take this medication. Plus, if you're a patient, you can always call or text us. Or when you're placing your, your order for your therapy package, we'll be happy to go over that information. You should be educated on these different things of what you're doing, how much you're doing, what you're doing and putting in your body, and how it's going to work for you. These, these are things that you should know, okay? Um, now, it's great to have blind faith, but I, at that point, I want all our patients to be as educated as possible. It's great. It's great to have the knowledge and to be confident in what you're doing for yourself, right? All right, injections are real easy, don't hurt, you can barely feel them. Was nervous my first injection and realized how painless it is. John, it is, especially with the insulin needles, okay? So testosterone needles, because it's an oil-based uh, therapy, it's a little bit thicker, the viscosity is thicker, right? So it's an oil base, so it needs a bigger gauge uh, and to push through, which is a 23 gauge usually what we use for our patients, where uh, water-based things, you know, so HCG or BPC-157 or even Hercules Potion or Titan Complete or any of those vitamin amino acid injectables, you can take with an insulin needle. Uh, with this, it's going to be very, like, very small. So, I mean, you're barely going to feel it. It's going to be virtually painless if you feel it at all, any pain. Um, and it's going to go through there like butter. It's going to go nice and smooth through there. It's not going to be thick and, and take forever to push through the needle as well. So, I'm glad you brought that up. Because that, you know, seven out of ten patients, seven out of ten patients that come here have never done injections. So it's a new thing for them, you know. And that that could be scary or intimidating, seeing those needles. I remember my first time over, what, 10, 11 years ago, you know, and giving myself my first injections, especially with the 23 gauge, you know, putting it up to my glute and touching my butt and then backing away because you feel that prick in the needle, you know. So I've been there. I, I, I've done it. I, I know exactly how it feels and exactly what it, it feels to go through that. Um, and then when you get over it, you know, you, you've done it a couple times. You feel the great benefits. It's not a big thing, you know. And I've been doing this, like I said, myself for over uh, 10 years as far as, HRT and, and vitamin amino acid injectable therapies and stuff like that or peptides, you know, and usually I inject like at least 10 of those little insulin needles a day. It just depends on the therapies I'm doing like NAD, glutathione, um, you know, the peptides like BPC-157 and TB-500, my ACG, uh, you know, it's a wide range of different things I'm taking, Hercules Potion, Titan Complete. Um, but I get all the benefits, and I feel great, and I can perform great, and that's what it's all about. I mean, I feel like I only have a limited time on this earth and this planet to do what I need to do, to set up the family, to set up my son, to make sure, you know, Titan's successful, to do all the things that I want to do. All right, and that's the exact same way that you, that you should feel, and, and wanting to accomplish your goals and taking advantage of your time uh, and, and making sure it's, it's valuable to you guys because you can't get it back. All right, I was only out three months for my knee surgery, so that was a really fast comeback. That's great. NYC, what's going on? Ian Ball, yep. All right, cool. Hercules Potion Therapy, baby. Yep, it's one of the best, guys. And there is a reason for that. Uh, you know, it's just, it's it's one of the most popular therapies because I think the instant gratification of how you can do things. All right, let me see some stuff up here. Yetta, what's going on? Eva, what's up? That's my tight nets up there. I love those girls. Daryl, what up, John? How you doing? Cody Mannix, extremely helpful BPC. I'm glad, brother. I hope the back is coming along and you're feeling better. We're going to get you dialed and profiled, man, when you get back. All right, Stacy Masita, love you. All right, yep, she can get over the tiny needle, too. She knows how it is. So I'm, I'm telling you, it's real simple and real easy to do. And I have these educational videos up for, for you guys in YouTube so you guys can look at them, you know, and, and, and sh it shows you how to inject these different things. You know, I use myself as a pincushion for you guys. All right, I want to make sure I took care of you guys. 
All right, so I, I started my test 25 years ago and used 18 gauge needle. Woo! So Hawk Squad's been around for 25 years. So that's, you know, that's, you know, that's a long time, 25 years. And 18 gauge needle, guys. So you don't want to use an 18 gauge needle, and I, I'm sure that he was feeling that. That thing is like a harpoon. You know, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, you draw blood with out of a vein. So at that point, it's real big. It's going to create a little hole in you, you know? That's what we use as drawing needles. But hey, listen, sometimes, like back in the day, you can only get a so hold of certain needles and tips, you know? So at that point, I guess you do what you had to do, right? But uh, you still would probably do it because you feel all the benefits, you know? It doesn't matter. Like, you get over it. It just is what it is. All right, that was me. My daddy was a heroin addict, so needles were not my thing. But quickly got over it when I can feel Hercules potion run through my body. So I, that's, a, that's a good thing to bring up, Big Irishman. You know, uh, listen, some people have those different issues or they've had problems with people in, in using needles in the past. But the stereotypical thing is, is when you talk about injections or using needles, especially when we started nine years ago, people would look at us like crazy, bro. They would say, like, you know, like, nobody's going to inject themselves. or Drug addicts inject themselves. And we still get the comments, like, on Facebook or Instagram on some of the posts, you know, from people that are just uneducated. Um, and, and, and one thing is, is these are not going in veins like heroin addicts, right, or, or drug addicts that are shooting up. This is going into muscles. and slow, I mean, the same insulin needle, I guess, right? So that's where people, I guess, could, could see that. But these are beneficial. These are healthy for you. There's nothing that's bad in here for you. This is actually helping your health and not going against your health like that is. So it can definitely be a thing, right? Um, so I feel for you as far as that goes. But, man, you're a champion. You're running through it. And look at all the benefits you're getting. So real proud of Big Irishman. He's kicking butt. Big ups to Hulk Squad too. Mass Monster, what's going on? A boy named... D I was, D D I was. Jason, what's up? One T A Bed, Y M Rizza, Anavana. What's going on? How you guys doing out there? Doctor or D ripped hydration. What's going on, Angelo? What's up, Rick? So when our BPC one five seven healing peptide body protection compound. That's what it stands for. Derived from the gastric juices used for healing and repairing um, a number of different things or ailments, joints, tendons, muscles. Um, Helps with mobility, helps with inflammation, like arthritis, and people have that. Really, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, funny so-called educated people who tell everybody injectables are a pathway. Yeah, don't have a problem eating McDonald's or processed foods. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. And, and let, let's talk about that, too. So, you know, people are so conscious about this, but they'll go eat McDonald's or Burger King or something that's really bad for them, and they know it's bad for them. That's one thing, right? Or... You got these people that will go into a big box like vitamin or retail shop or whatever it is, and they just go take anything off the shelves. They really don't care. They just don't care. And it can be hurtful to them, right? But if it's like glutathione or something like that, you want the whole breakdown, is FDA approved, like all this crazy stuff. But you wouldn't ask that on the other stuff. It's just, you know, it's, it's just different. I don't know why. Well, also, on the flip side, they want to talk down about you because if you're sick, you'll yeah. run right to the doctor, won't you? Absolutely. So you run right to the doctor and you'll do whatever they tell you. You'll take whatever shot they tell you. We're a medical center. They're medical providers. It's the exact same thing. The only thing is, is we're not we're not trying to fix the problem. We're not trying to fix something that's already broke. You're already sick and trying to get you better. We're trying to keep you not from getting sick and to keep you feeling the best you possibly can every day. There's a big difference. You run yourself down, then you need to get fixed. Instead of staying running at a high performance level and feeling good every day and performing like that, Every day, that's that's the difference, you know. That's the difference of what we do to to a regular general practitioner. It just they're there to fix problems. So when you have a problem, you go in there, you tell them your problem, and they want to fix that problem. We're more about preventative and maintenance and, and making you better in ways that we possibly can, whether it's health wise, physically wise, or mental wise. You know, I mean, that's another big one. All right, so let's get into some of the topics today. If you guys got questions, please shoot them out to me. But I got some good topics today, so let me know if you guys like these. All right, so the first one is, and obviously goes along with what we do. Poor sleep, high stress levels equals a less healthier you. So it makes sense, right? Poor sleep, if we have poor sleep, that can affect us in a lot of different ways, from energy levels, neurologically, emotionally, right? We're, we're short-tempered possibly, or, you know, just not thinking rationally. We're irrational because we haven't got enough sleep. Our body is stressing just on that level. Now, mix that with high stress. 
And right now, the pandemic, it's, it's, it's a high stress level for everybody, no matter what situation or who you are. It's definitely stressful. Now, some people have a lot more stress than others, right? Some people are worried about food. You know, I, I feel for those people or their homes or not jobs. I mean, come on. So there's a lot of stress out there. So this and stress will actually make you have poor sleep routines as well. So they go hand in hand. But if you get proper sleep, it can help stress levels. It can help, you know, feeling better and more energized the next day. But you have to have proper sleep levels. Now, being stressed is going to affect those sleep levels. It's going to affect you possibly waking up or not being able to go to bed. So that's going to go hand in hand with what's going on. So these different ways you you can alleviate some of these different things and work on them together. Let's talk about at least three of them. The first one, definitely want to have some activity, okay? And I'm going to get to this question right here, uh, Mark J. Carey, in one second, okay? Uh, I'll answer that in one second about the blood. All right, so with this, when you're sleeping better, your stress level is going to come down. That's a big one. That's one point. So if you can increase that. Now, how do you do that? So one is activity. If you're working out or doing some sort of activity, it's great for lowering stress levels. It will actually tire you out in a good way, and you should be able to rest a lot better by doing that. That's one. Two, your nutrition. If you don't have a good nutrition plan, you're not getting good foods, this can affect your health as well. It can actually affect a lot of different things like sleep too so you want to make sure nutrition is there right and then three i mean for this lowering these different things meditation is a good one that's both good for high stress levels and to get you in a relaxed state to possibly go to sleep in a deeper sleep so uh meditation is a really good one um you know i didn't really believe in meditation and then i i I just tried to you know I, i read up on it a little bit more and try to do what some of these pros tell you to do and mine and i got it down pat like so if i need to lower blood pressure or i need to relax in the current situation i can actually do that it's really really cool um you know for me i I can close my eyes and i can think i'm on the beach and i can feel my toes in the sand i can hear the waves crash and i can place myself in a chair there it's just really weird it's really cool you know i'm trying to get sharice to, to to go on this train i don't do it a lot but you know there are some times where i have to literally like bring myself down to a state um, because it's just high stress levels in what we're doing every day. All right. All right. So let me answer this question. Mark J. Carey 24 said, why don't you take insurance for blood work? Tons of others do. I got charged 150 bucks for blood work. Insurance said they would have covered it. Then have to retest and I had to pay again. All right. So this is the reason why. So we don't take any insurance across the board. And let me tell you why, Mark. The reason is, is because it can restrict our physicians or medical providers and what they want to prescribe. Your insurance company will tell you, yeah, we would have covered it, but the whole point is, is is the medical provider has to produce a diagnosis code to go along to the insurance company for them to cover each and every one of those blood tests. With a diagnosis code, there has to be some sort of reasoning of why they want to do this. So at that point, they're going to have to go down and think of a reason why they want to test free and total testosterone. Why they want to test IGF-1 levels, that's growth hormone levels. Why they want to test B12 levels. Why they want to test estradiol levels, because you're not a female, and that's what they say sometimes. Why they want to test progesterone levels. So they want reasons for all this. We're not doing that. Like The whole point of it is, is whatever a medical provider wants to test on a patient, we're going to test without having to worry about them kicking back the bill. And they don't kick it back on us. They kick it back on patients. So at that point, what happens is, is some insurance companies will cover it, right? But most won't because they need to get a diagnosis code. If that diagnosis code's off or they think that it's unjust because they can do that and override a medical provider, then they kick back the bill to you. Now, the bill's not going to be 150 bucks. The bill's going to be about $1,500. So we have the most inexpensive blood work in the country. Test per test. So if you want to only test one thing out of there, I beat everybody in the country. If you want a full panel, I beat everybody in the country. So our blood tests are very inexpensive. And you should only have to do one blood test every six months if you're going on HRT with us. Um, So at that point, unless there's a problem or issue, and then you won't have to get a whole full panel done. And what do I mean by that? So let's say you get a full blood panel done and you want to go on HRT. And let's say that your PSA is through the roof, and we need to do a retest on the PSA. 
We're going to charge you 25 bucks, retest the PSA, and see if it comes back with a normal range. At that point, that's all it should be. You know, and like I said, the insurance companies say they will cover it, but they can't tell you that until they get a diagnosis code to tell you if they're going to cover it or not. They can't just say, well, yeah, we're just going to cover every blood test. That's not how they work. Or people would go right into their general practitioner and they'd say, listen, I want a copy or I want to run all these labs. And they run like three or 400 labs at a time. Insurance companies will not do that. It's just, it, it is what it is. So that's the answer to your question. I hope it helped. Michelle, what's going on? And Jeezy, Silva, what's up? Mike O'Connell, what's up? Mike, or Mike, sorry, Mike Robs, how you doing? Hecky, how you doing? What up, Keith? All right. So, Kelly, what's going on? How you doing? All right. Schwizzle, what's up? All right. So, we covered BPC, guys. We just covered the first topic, which was poor sleep and high stress levels, how to bring it down because, obviously, having one of these things can affect your health in negative ways. Having both these things are very, very bad. Even oxidative stress, right? And this can cause damage throughout the body in a lot of different ways. So, you don't want that. So, make sure you guys are trying to take care of yourselves mentally you guys are getting proper sleep and that's hard for me even to say because i only get six hours a night if that because i'm going home after titans it's late i'm trying to get my son to bed do all that stuff get him into bed and try to decompress or maybe do a little bit more work and it's like midnight i gotta get up at 6 a.m wake him up do breakfast take him to school get ready for titan come down here and get rocking and rolling so it's crazy right all right what's good just had my blood test last week awesome swizzle just got his blood test so let me make sure that they took care of you, okay? What's going on, Kelly? How you doing? All right, Star, how you doing, man? All right, so the next one. Elon Musk, right, talked about his Neuralink. We talked about this months ago, and it's basically a, a brain chip implant, and they, they've been using it on tons of animals in the last couple of years, and they've really made some really, really big progress on this. So they've implanted this Neuralink, which is a chip, and it's supposed to be an interface that us humans will be able to interact with AI and use technology wirelessly. Very cool stuff. We're talking about biotech now. This is some futuristic movie stuff. Really, really, really cool. So at that point, they have this monkey that they have the neural link in its head, and this monkey can play video games wirelessly. This is some super cool stuff, guys. It's actually pretty scary. It reminds me of like giant mnemonic and stuff like that. You got hard drives in your head. You know, you can connect with all these different, you know, you're going to be able to go online, you know, through your head. Wow. Just really, really wild stuff. So I'm, I'm anxious to see how far this goes because, I mean, they've had in all different kinds of animals. You know, if this is working with monkeys, usually the next step is human trials. And, you know, the ethics behind this and all that will come into play. Elon Musk is a genius. This guy is all over the place and, and all different types of projects and just killing it all the way through. So big ups to Eli, uh, you know, and the next thing is, would you get a Neuralink implanted in your brain? It remains to be seen, right? We'll see how it goes. The size of a coin. Right? It's very small. Very small. All right. And the reason they don't use wires and it's wireless is because there's more prone to infection or wire going out of the head in the area. So it's a lot safer for the animals to do a, a wireless chip implant. Be a lot better anyway. You don't yeah, want wires sticking yeah, out your yeah, head anyway, yeah. right? Be like one of the boards. Eddie Hall used meditation and hypnos hypnosis before his record breaking. I believe it, Hawk Squad. Seriously, because you can, you can. I mean, the brain, man, uh, the men mental capacity of your brain is just crazy. And the only percentage that we use of it, I think, is what ten percent or underneath. So. Just think about unlocking more portions of this. And some people say you can do this through meditation and all that. You know, I'm a believer to a certain extent. And I believe that some of these medications out there can unlock it like NAD and stuff. And they're, they're doing research. I was going to talk about a topic today about, you know, they have a lot of research, especially right now, on psychedelics. Um, specifically LSD, which is kind of crazy. LSD and, uh, and magic mushrooms. So in the syllabolic acid or whatever it is that's in my magic mushroom. So at that point, they're using on PTSD patients or they're using on traumatized patients. Um, they're using on patients to unlock different things, per se, in the brain or what they can do. So it's really, really cool some of the stuff that's going on. West Coast is already legal um, to use these different things uh, in therapies. And over here in Florida, I guess they're passing this bill or bringing this bill up to play. So uh, I'm, I'm really cool. I really like the research behind it. You know, it's not about them getting high or tripping out. But it's really about them, you know, bettering themselves in a way or maybe a past trauma or something debilitating to them and moving on. 
or maybe unlocking potential in the brain possibly or more things that we can do. So it's really, really cool. So I'll bring up the article Friday on Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. Now, I'm going to give away, if you guys are in Tampa, uh, a VIP table. If you guys are in Tampa for Super Bowl Saturday, I've got the Lux Lingerie Faction Show that Titan Medical Center is a main sponsor of. I might not be able to make it to the event, but I've got an eight-person VIP table for this great event. Now, they're going to have the, the lingerie models there, very classy, very upscale event, and they're going to have a special guest. So they're going to have a great DJ there from the Netherlands. Um, it's going to be awesome. So at that point, I'm going to give it away probably on li Tight Lifestyle with Big Drew Friday. So if you guys are in Tampa or you guys are thinking about being in Tampa and you guys want to win this, I'm going to give it away Friday. We're just going to pick somebody Friday, just randomly, I guess. So you guys tune in Friday. Illmatic, what's up, brother? How you doing? Thank you for joining in, man. So we'll, we'll give that away Friday at Titan Lifestyle. All right, we'll figure something out on like a text message or something like that for somebody to win. Eight people, all free, taken care of, VIP. It would be my VIP table, but I might not be able to be there. If I do come, you'll be able to hang out with me, and we'll hang out, maybe have a drink or something like that, relax, and enjoy Super Bowl weekend. I don't know what's going to go on yet, so I'm still up in the air. All right, so last one, Tom Brady. Definitely considering playing past 45, so he's 43 years old right now. You know, when he came in, he was like, oh, 45 is probably going to be the year. Now with him, he's a big family guy, which is awesome. He's got the kids. He's got the supermodel wife, right? And he's got it all. So, And he's living in Florida now. He's not in New England. He's not freezing his butt off. He's loving life. And he's doing very well. Obviously, his first year taking the Bucks to the Super Bowl, the GOAT. I will call him the GOAT because he is. So at this point, he's ready to play a couple more seasons. I think it's going to be on. Gronk's going to say he's going to stay on. I think that, the, you know, if they hopefully win, they can pack on some more players and maybe do a repeat. You know, who knows? Who knows? Tom has definitely got it in his blood. It's in his genes. So hopefully he can take us for maybe two or three Super Bowls. You don't know. All right? All right. So question, Neil, I've been on TRT now for three months. I'm starting to notice my energy is starting to drop a little. Is that normal? And what can I do about it? All right, Neil. So here's yeah, that's, that's a good one. All right, so the first thing is, is make sure your dose is dialed in. Now, you might need a little bit more of your dose. You know, it just depends on what you're at. So for us, we cap out at 300 milligrams a week. Next thing, we want to make sure that your estradiol, so your estrogen level is on point. If that's too high or too low, it could make you a little, little tired, a little lethargic. And remember now, you might have had low or very deficient testosterone levels and then bring you back up you're going to immediately feel a difference, and you might be getting used to that feeling there. But you should still have energy to go through the day, okay? It, now, you're not going to be wired all through the day, but you should have energy to go through the day. And there might be some other things to look at. So if you're getting it through us, please call or text us, and we can run some different things uh, to make sure that you're feeling optimal, performing good, and have that energy. Because you should have the energy um, at that point. And there might be just something that might be off and might need to be tweaked just a little bit in your, your protocol regimen. And that's very easy um, to do and to fix and get you back to feeling where you want to feel or how you were feeling, okay? Nathan, what's going on? Mark Neal, my dude. What's up, dude? Uh, size up. Mia, what's going on? All right. So, talked about BPC, Body Protecting Compound, which was therapy of the week. If you guys are injured or have injuries, this might be the therapy for you. It's real simple to do. You guys don't need to do a blood test for this therapy. All you guys have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork. You're going to see the medical provider via telemedicine if you're not in the state of Florida and you can't come in. So through FaceTime or Skype, at that point, you can order your therapy package and get it sent directly to your house from the U.S. licensed pharmacy. And we are here for your support at that point. You can call us. You can text us. We always have our medical providers here. We're always here for you guys. We want to make sure you guys are taken care of, educated on how to do your injections or therapies, right? So it's real simple and easy to do. Now, we can service all you guys and all the other things like blood testing. So if you guys are looking for blood testing, any state, we can take care of you guys, male and female, the most inexpensive labs across the country, I promise you. And if you find them any cheaper, let me know. I'll match them or beat them. All right? Um, so for the events coming up, Super Glow this weekend, I'll be there Friday night with Rick Ross, 2 Chains, and Jack Harlow. It's going to be a crazy, crazy night Friday. Um, so if you guys are going up to that, check us out. Say hi. Take a picture. 
Um, Lux Lingerie Fashion Show, that's Saturday. I might not be able to be there. It's a Titan event, though. So at that point, you guys, I'm going to give away a free VIP table of eight for that event. If you guys are in the area, 213, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, the Key West Car Show. Now, it's getting moved from Key West to Clearwater at Forza. Forza is a very high-performance um, car shop. So at that point, they're very well known. It's going to be an awesome time. Going to bring some of the Titan rides up there. Hope to see all you guys out there. We're going to give away a lot of free Titan gear. All right, after that, 221, Festival of Speed St. Pete. We do a lot of car shows now, you know. We're into bodybuilding, now we have car shows. We try to do a lot of variety of different things. But I believe it's all the exact same. High performance, looking good, and performing at its very best. So that's what it's all about. So that will be in Vinoy Park here in St. Pete, 221. After that, 314, we'll see you guys at Festival Speed Orlando at the Ritz-Carlton over that beautiful property all sprawled out with exotic rides, tight medical tight nets, me and Sharice, and some of the other crew. We're going to give a lot of different Titan gear to you guys. Come out, sign up, take a picture with us, say what's up. All right, guys. Uh, weekly poll, last one. So have you ever tried injectable peptides to heal your joints, ligaments, or tendons? 52% said no. Do they really work? Yes, they really do. All right. Peptides are really, really great things, man. Um, and then, yes, I use Titan's injectable peptides, 47%. Pretty good. I like that. So that's a lot of people. And, you know, usually a lot of people get a lot of great results with using the peptides through us. And the big question is after that is, you know, John, I see like BPC on this research site. And it's like 30 bucks. Well, that's a research and chemical site. And usually they're getting that stuff from China and boxing up and shipping it to you. Where this is coming from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. Um, their vial is going to say not for human consumption. All right. For this is going to be prescribed in your name. Okay. And for you to be able to use um, with the injection properly and it's being tested sterility concentration tested you know what you're getting that's the big big difference okay i want to see these different things as far as testing and all this that costs money guys that's why it's more expensive to go through us plus it's the real deal you know what you're getting you're injecting it in your body so be careful and you want it to work if you're saving a couple bucks and it doesn't work it's just a waste of money anyway so let's just think about that, okay? You get what you pay for, you pay for all right? Okay, I promise you. Prescribe. You can travel. You can you can travel with all your medications from us. Everything is prescription based, okay? We can even get you a, a travel note from the, the medical provider if you think you need it. But I've been all over the world, okay, in nine years with my type medical center therapies, and I ain't talking about one bottle. I carry like <laughs> at least yeah. fifteen bottles. Titan Complete, Hercules, Glutathione, Cold Packs, this, that. I've never got messed with ever traveling in all different kind of countries. Coming in, coming out of the United States, going in other countries, coming out. They will not mess with you guys because everything is properly labeled and prescribed in your name. Plus, if you need to, you can have a travel note just to feel good and warm inside. All right, guys. This has been a great Titan Talk Tuesday with you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll see you Friday with Big Drew. I'm going to give away that VIP table. Thank you, guys. Remember, check out YouTube. Hit the all notifications button. Please subscribe to that first, though, so you guys can get all these other different videos, like the educational videos on how to inject BBC-157 or what is BBC-157. It'll help you guys out a lot. All right, I'll see you next Tuesday at 6 p.m., Titan Talk Tuesday. I'm John from Titan. I appreciate you guys. Later.